guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a post-it note storage video. This is just some of my storage for my post-it notes. I do have another tray. So that tray is not with me right now, but I'm going to show you... So today I'm actually going to show you some of my more out-of-the-box type storage methods for my post-it notes. I've got three different systems here plus, you know, a bit more of my collection just sort of here as well so I'm just going to go through and show you all of that a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a stationary addict. A lot of people just think I'm like a planner girl who likes washi tape really because I don't, I don't use post-it notes a great deal but I actually have more than your average so um, yeah I feel like I should just probably jump straight in. So this is my first method here. This is actually a CD case so I'm just going to unzip it and open it up and you can see it's quite bulky here with all the post notes um, but I'm okay with that because it does contain itself in the zip it is a little bit tough to zip and I don't know how much more I could actually fit in here but she's pretty full and I've got a bit of room to go so I'm okay with that I got this for three dollars fifty at a, at a local discount shop so I just have my single s in here you know and I just kind of separate them into the different sections of the um, of the CD case. These are ones that are a little bit too big to fit in my other organization system, which is my preferred one. You guys will see in a minute. And then you can see here I do have some room to grow as well, or if I ever change up my storage system or whatever, I've got space here. Um, one of my goals for this year, which is not I mean, okay, I shouldn't say a goal because it's not in my, it's not in my, um, it's not in my setting goals video. So it's not really a goal for the year, but it's just something I sort of want to do this year is just whittle down all my post notes. So I do want to make sure I use them up. St like bigger stacks, like um, the heart, for example, I'll break it in half. I will keep half and I'll rack the other half or add it to a add it to a gift or something. Just to try and get rid of some stuff because I've got so many. But you know, moving on. CD cases, they're a great way to store post-it notes. Um, the big folder ones are really good. If you don't have like different shapes like I do, then the big folder ones are really good that are, are like a little bit thicker at the binding so they can hold a lot more. They're really good for like um, if you just use the square post-it notes. So that's my first system. I live in Australia and I'm assuming this is like an international thing, but I have a couple of places that sell post-it notes in these like little tins. And these I keep in the tins. I don't take them out. Um, and I basically just stack them in and then just slot them into the space here. Like they just sit there nicely. I'm, I'm okay with them. Um, or I could go this way if I wanted them to sort of lean back. But, you know, anything that comes with its own packaging like this, try and utilise it, you know. Once I use up these these um, tins, I might use them for maybe, I might put my samples in, in the smaller one, like my washi samples, because two cards will fit evenly. Um, and I can stack them. And then in here I might put um, excess post-it notes or I might put stickers or something like that. So these are really, really good. It's best to try and utilise these kinds of things. I also have just these two packs. This is just a little stack. I'm actually working my way through one of these stacks at the moment. That's why this one is unopened. And it just sits in here because it's it's small and out of the way. And these ones I, use, I was using to plan out my videos. And I just kept them in the little case they came in. And I slot it in the side there. Um just to keep them out of the way but still contained and every time I wanted to plan out some videos or whatever I could just pull it straight out. It made sense for me. So I'm just going to move them for now. These two bulkier items I'm just going to take out. So I do use the same trays I use for my washi storage. If you saw that last Thursday you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'll do the bigger case first. This is actually a photo album, and this is a false leather album. I got it from a $2 shop as well. I think it was about $4.50. Um, just flip it over because I did fill it from the back. Don't ask me why. It's just how I did it. 
Um, and I just have my post-it notes in there in the little slots. I don't have like a super good organization system in here. This just keeps them contained though, which is what I like. And again, I have a ton of room in here to grow or if I ever want to use this for stickers, I can do that as well. And this one was really good because it came with a little band so I could overfill it because normally I wouldn't want it to be this thick, but I could overfill it and put the elastic round. And then in the tray, I sit it upright so that this, they all face down and everything fits in around it. So I'm just going to load myself back up here really quick while I've got it in front of me. My last storage system goes in this space here, which is what I'm about to show you. And then the CD case actually goes in my other tray. Um, but I don't pull it out often. My last post-it note, my last post-it note system is actually a business card holder. This is just a plastic green one that I got from $2 shop as well. This one was $2 um, and I just have them sorted in here. Only one to a pocket because these are double sided like the photo album but I only put one to a pocket just because I overfilled this once and I ended up, um, these ended up up like this. So it, I I, uh, I whittled it down a little bit and I did use a fair few. So I just have my entire collection in here. Again, there's no real like full organisation. It's not like categorised or anything like that. It's literally just they're in here so that I can find them and they're kept out of my way. You're also just getting a real little sneak peek into my collection, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, a ton of sticky notes. And then that one, I used to hold it together with a band. I no longer do. And it just sits in nicely on that other edge there. Now with my other tray, um, I have my CD case fits in the side of it. And then I've got a lot of these little pocket ones. Let me see if I've got one nearby. I don't have one at the moment but they're like um, like there's like page flag ones and then slightly bigger sticky notes on it and it's just in a little cardboard slit. Um, so I have those and they just sit like in the tray for example. Let's just unpack this and I'll show you. So my CD case sits in like so and they just slot here so like if this was one you would slot in like so they're not tall though they are shallow so but they fit nicely in there um but yeah and the rest like any other post notes i have or anything that i'm using frequently i keep accessible to me so that i can use it up so yeah that's that's basically my storage um, it's a little bit unconventional, it's not your stock standard type of a storage system, but you know, like I really like it and it works for me and how I work, so I'm really happy with it, so yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below your storage systems for your posted notes, I'd love to hear and see if you've got any ideas that I could maybe utilise as well. Don't forget to check out my social media links, they are all down below, and go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. If you do have a video request of how uh, you want to know how I organise certain aspects of my stationary stuff, so I've done my washi, I've done my post-it notes, I think I've got a sticker one up as well, um, but if you want to see like pens or um, notebooks, notepads and things like that, let me know in the comments below and I can pull something together for you. Um, but otherwise I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!